Are you looking for Minecraft railway carriages for your vintage British train? Have I got one for you today? The composite first class corridor carriage and brake van. To build this carriage you'll need the following. For the undercarriage, 26 grey or brown terracotta, 4 pistons, 4 levers, 32 nether brick stairs, 16 hoppers, 3 grindstones, 8 dark oak fence, 20 dark oak slabs, 3 spruce slabs, 66 dark oak planks, 44 dark oak stairs. For the body of the carriage, you will need 6 birch doors, 38 birch trap doors, 49 spruce trap doors, and 68 dark oak trap doors. For the roof, you'll need 132 smooth sandstone slabs and 44 smooth sandstone stairs. For the inside, one iron bar, 24 dark prismarine stairs, 11 lanterns, 3 andesite wall, 1 furnace, 18 chests and an additional 72 dark oak trapdoors. And of course, waste block of your choice. Let's get building. If you're building this at the end of a train, which I suggest you should, make sure you leave two full blocks on your rail and then put your waste block on the third. On top of that, grey terracotta, remove the waste block and then two, three, so that you end up with a bar that straddles the rails. Now behind that place 20 terracotta, one, two, three, eight, four, eight, 19, eight. 20, and then one, two, three. Next we're going to make buffers. So at the end, piston on its side, levers next to it. You can place them like this or you can place them underneath. It's up to you. Just make sure you're consistent. Flip them open and that's your buffer. Do that at the other end. Now we're going to make the couplings. At the front place two grindstones, you'll have to shift click to place the second and at the back one grindstone. Wheels next, leave a gap of one and on the next terracotta place a right way up near the brick stair and under it an upside down one, two more at the back, leave another gap of one and one right way up, one upside down two more at the back. Do this at the other end. So you've got a one block gap between the buffer and the wheel. Now place a dark oak slab between the wheels and eight dark oak slabs top half between each set of wheels. And grab hoppers and into the right way upstairs on each wheel so that the funnel goes into the stairs. And now place two dark oak fence between each set of wheels and the buffer at the end. Repeat all this on the other side. Now for the bed of the carriage. On the top here, three dark oak planks and now extend them all the way to the end. That done, take your dark oak stairs and run them upside down right along both sides. And that's the undercarriage. Now we're going to work on the ends of the carriage. So come to one end of the train, doesn't matter which because you're going to be repeating exactly the same thing at the other end. Now above the levers place dark oak trap doors, they'll place folded up, that's fine, that's because of the levers. On either corner of the bed place waste blocks and now one, two spruce trap doors either side and on top of those two dark oak trap doors at the outside and three dark oak trap doors at the inside. Now on the first block of the undercarriage in the middle a birch door with the hinges on the non-platform side. On top of the door a waste block at the front, at the top of the waste block, a birch trap door and on top of that, a dark oak trap door. Remove your waste blocks and fold all the trap doors up and down to form walls and a fan light. That's the end of our carriage. Repeat that at the other end. 
Now that's done, grab your spruce slabs, put two top half spruce slabs at the front end of the carriage to connect it to the previous one. Come round to the back and place one at the back directly over the coupling. Now we're going to work on the sides. We're going to work on the station side first. Now the easiest way to do this is first run waste blocks all the way along. Now with your spruce trap doors, place one and leave a one block gap, place four, leave another one block gap, place five, another one block gap and place seven. Another one block gap and you should have one at the end. Now get rid of your waste blocks and at the front of the train, two dark oak trap doors on top of this first spruce trap door two on top of the next one, two either side of the next gap, two on top of this one and now all of these have two on top of each of them. And down at the end, two again. Now take birch trap doors and fill in all the gaps. And now fold all of the trap doors up for walls and windows. Now in each of these gaps we're going to place a birch door. The first two have the hinges towards the front end of the carriage. The last two have the hinges towards the back end of the carriage. And on top of each door we're going to place a waste block and then a trap door at the top. Get rid of the waste block and fold the trap door down. That's the platform side of the train. Now we're going to go around and do the non-platform side. Same as before, run a row of waste blocks right the way along. Now we're going to run spruce trap doors all the way along again and get rid of the waste blocks. Now working from the front end of the train, two dark oak trap doors, two birch trap doors, two more dark oak trap doors and now we're going to place 10 sets of two birch trap doors. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten on top. Fill in all the rest to the end with dark oak trap doors. Fold them all up to form walls and windows again. And that's the non-platform side. Let's work on the roof. Come to either end, doesn't matter which, and on the bottom half of any of these three trapdoors place a bottom half smooth sandstone slab. Two more next to it, and now fill in all of this right the way to the end. Now you could of course use a full sandstone block, but I like to use the slabs because they go twice as far. Now grab some smooth sandstone stairs and run them right the way along both sides of your slabs. Place a waste block on top of any stair. Next to it place a bottom half smooth sandstone slab. Get rid of your waste block and fill in the whole roof with the sandstone slabs. Now this does two things. One, it gives you the gentle curve of the roof. Two, because they're bottom half slabs, the entire top of the roof is spawn proof. And there's the roof finished. Now for the insides. We'll start with the corridor part of the carriage. Facing towards the front of the carriage, we're going to leave a gap of one, two, and on the non-platform side, we're going to place one, two, three dark prismarine stairs. Turn around, leave a gap of one, and place three more facing this first one. Repeat that again. Do it a third time. And a fourth. Next we're going to place our doors. I know this seems weird but it's easier to do it now. Place a dark oak door on the next block outside the rows of seats with the hinge towards the front of the carriage. Do that in each of the gaps between the prismarine stairs. Now come back to the front of the carriage. Stand facing towards the back and in front of this first row of stairs, one, two, three dark oak track doors and two more on top of each of them. 
fold them up or down for a wall. Come inside this compartment and on top of this row of prismarine stairs, two rows of three dark oak trap doors. Do the same on the next one. And on the third. Don't do it on this last one. Now in the corridor in front of each row of prismarine stairs we're going to place one, two, three dark oak trap doors, fold them up. And above the doors we're going to place a dark oak trap door and fold it down. That's our corridor section more or less done. Come to behind the last compartment and place one, two, three, four, five dark oak trap doors and two more on top of each of those. Fold them all up or down to make a wall. Right, this is the guards compartment brake van with a bit of luggage storage. Right, standing on the platform side, looking towards the non-platform side, in this back corner we're going to place a spruce trap door as a fold down shelf, leave a gap of one and place an extra nether brick stair for a leather seat, leave another gap of one and place one, two, three chests and on top of those you're going to place six more. Turn around to face the platform side of the carriage. From this wall, leave a gap of one and place one, two, three chests. And again, place six more on top of those. So you get two lots of nine. Now in front of the nether brick seat, leave a gap of one and place a furnace. And on top of that, place one, two and a site wall. I've listed three in the directions it should have been two. Now you've got your seat here, your furnace there, put your brake lever at that spot there. All that's left now is to light the carriages. So take lanterns and put one in each corner at the back. Come to this wall, count back one, two and put a lantern on the third. Now we're going into the corridor part of the carriage. Come to the front of the carriage, put one in each corner at the front and just past this door put another lantern and one in the back corner and then inside each compartment you can either hang one in the middle or one just above a seat, it's up to you. And there we have it, one composite, corridor compartment and luggage brake van.